So, let's do this exercise. Easy. 100 mol of butane, which is here, and 5,000 mol of air per hour are fed into a combustion reactor. They tell you, please calculate the excess air. So, let's get the equation C4H10. We balance it, and we have the coefficient 1, 13 halves, 4, and I think it's 5. No, 6. No, 5. And from this, we know one mole of butane needs 13 half of moles of O2. So therefore, 100 mole of P will be just this number times 100. So we have the theoretical moles of oxygen needed. Let's calculate the theoretical moles of air needed. So we know one mole of air contains 0.21 moles of oxygen. And we have 650 moles of oxygen. We just need to multiply, this go out, and you will find out that you only need 3095 mole of air, which is a little bit less than the 5000 we're feeding, so we are going to have definitely an excess of air. Let's calculate the excess, it's in minus required divided by the required. The inlet is 5000 mole of air minus the required, which is the one we calculated here, divided by the same number here. They will give you 0.61 or 61%. Good. Now we have two reactions, the one of incomplete combustion and the one complete combustion. I like it because you will practice the selectivity and in general how combustion normally goes. They ask you a lot. What is the theoretical O2 flow for a complete combustion? What is the theoretical O2 flow for only 70% combustion? And they tell you, be careful, and I will show you why. Theoretical flow of air, easy. 100 excess air, how much, blah, 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 how much rate of air? Nice. And if the actual flow rate is 300 moles, what is the percent excess? So let's do it. First one is so easy. You just need one mole of methane per two moles of O2, which is here. So if you're using 100 moles of methane, you need 200 moles. Nice. Remember, we're feeding 100 moles of methane. Number two, calculate the amount of oxygen required for a 70%. And this is tricky one. It's kind of like a joke because the definition of oxygen implies a 100% conversion so you don't the definition doesn't care how much the conversion is because by definition you need to have 100% so this is a tricky one and you could not have a difference the uh, the required oxygen will be the definition by 100% so it will be the same 200 moles you need 200 moles number 3 they tell you how much air from this theoretical oxygen that's easy one just divide by 0.21 because we have one mole of air in 0.21 moles of oxygen and you get this nice now they tell you you have 100% excess this is technically twice why? please hopefully you get to know that 100% implies twice so we only multiply by 2 and we get 1904 moles of air now we go to number 5 which is if we only have 300 mol of oxygen, how much mol of air will be extra? So you have this, we change it to air, 1 mol of O2 is 4.67 mol of air, and you get this value here. The excess will be simply the, dif the difference between this, this and the theoretical, and you get 50%. And that's everything for this 